Coming at you from the Oklahoma studios, I am Jacob Unruh here with the Varsity Sports Update, All City Girls Golf Edition, joined by our Player of the Year, Maddie Camus from Kingfisher. Maddie, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Congrats on a huge season. Thank you. Um, only a sophomore, and you come in, you win seven straight tournaments, going to state, you finish there, second there. Um, what really stands out to you about this season? Um, I'm happy with the way that I've kept my attitude pretty positive. I mean, I've always struggled with that in past tournaments, but this year I really wanted to focus on keeping a positive attitude and just playing solid golf. I mean, really. What, what was the key to get on that run where you win seven straight? Um, just to like keep calm, really. I mean, I wasn't trying to get too excited. And even if I did have a bad hole, I tried to uh, get some birdies on the few holes and just keep it like mid 70s and maybe go low if I could. But. You're beating people at all levels during this run. You get to state. Do you feel pressure when you get into state tournament then? I was pressured, but I really didn't feel as much pressure as I thought I would have. Um, I did, the first day I did struggle with my putting a lot and I did kind of get down on myself. And the second day, my putting was a little better, but not enough to beat Kinsey. But she played really solid and I'm happy for her, but I was happy with the way I played. Be only a sophomore, you've got to be happy with your progression. Last year as a freshman, had a really good year. And then this year, obviously, seven tournament wins, all that. What what was the biggest difference from last year to this year? Um, last year, I really, I didn't play as well as I had hoped to last year because I was just kind of, I was so nervous. Like, I'd never had a high school experience because we didn't, we didn't have middle school teams. And I was super nervous last year. But this year, I came into it just very calm and relaxed and just told myself to have fun. You, you also committed to Oklahoma City, right? Mm -hmm. and, and at the same time, why there? I really love the coach, Marty, and I just feel like I'm at home with Marty and Sarah and the team. I mean, I know I've, I know a few of the girls that are on the team from past OJs that I've played, and they're really sweet. And I just feel like I can like I see myself going there. So, does committing now does that take does that relieve some pressure? Mm -hmm. It took a lot of pressure off. I mean, I was so worried. Like every tournament I went to, it was like I have to play good because college coaches are watching, and I needed to, to like. If I played bad, I was so worried that something was going to happen, but it really took a lot of pressure off, so I'm happy. Well, what's next? Uh, you're, you're so close to the title. Does that drive you more into next season? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm super excited for next season. I mean, I know more what not to do, and to, I learn from my mistakes. I mean, this summer I have a lot of tournaments that I'm playing in, so hopefully that'll keep me going for next year. Any big ones to watch out for? Um, I'm playing, I think, the day of the banquet, the first day of the OGA um, OGA championship when I played last year in that. I did pretty well. I made it all the way to semifinals where I played Yuzhong and we went to 17 holes in match play. So hopefully I'll do good this year. All right. Well, good luck this summer and next year. And thanks for joining us. Thank you. And stick with the Oklahoman.com and get the best sports coverage in the state.